Siri, is hold the door open? Your hold the door is open. Today I'm going to review a product by Elgato. Not this. Actually, I'm gonna review this. Elgato Avia or Avia. But not just that, I'm also gonna review Avia Flare. Because I wanna talk about HomeKit. I'm also gonna review Eve Weather, Door and Window, Energy, Eve Room. And while we're talking about HomeKit, I'm gonna talk about iOS 10 and the Home app because it works with Philips Hue system but Avea does not work in the home kit so it's confusing and I'm here to solve all this confusion if a product has works with Apple home kit sign on it it means you can use Siri or the new upcoming home app to control it these products usually have their own app so you can control them using their own app as well on the other hand these guys, they work with Bluetooth, so it doesn't need a HomeKit setup. You just come close to it, use your phone or your watch and control it. Which means you cannot control these when you're not in the house or when you're not close to these products. If you haven't seen it, I already have a Philips Hue unboxing and review right here. You can click on that and watch that review. So let's make this house smarter. This is a fantastic product. I actually know this product and I'm very excited about it. it. Says here that the battery lasts eight hours, but it lasts a lot longer than that. If you have the brightness to a lower setting, it lasts a lot more than that. This is the wireless charging base, charging adapter, and a lot of plugs. Now let's move on to the bulb. And this is it. Now I'm gonna plug this into that. Let's go to Avia app. Add lamp. One lamp found. Avia bulb, that sounds like a good name. An important update is available, it says right up there. But we'll take care of that later on. As you can see in this app, I can select. Let me dim the other lights a little bit. Now, in this app, if I go to magic hour, if I hit activate, all of them, Candyland, and I don't have to go into this, I can just slide it like this to activate, that the color is changing. And they're changing together. I like this a lot. And you can use your watch. Tap to activate or deactivate, force touch to turn on, off or adjust the lights. You can even set up a wake up light that turns on by itself. The only thing missing from this is you cannot add your own scenes to it. Now let's get to the Eve products. Let's begin with Eve Room. They call it wireless indoor sensor. It tells you the air quality, the temperature and the humidity. Very simple and nice boxing and then this is it you just put this somewhere in your house now let's get the eve weather out and eve weather tells you the temperature and humidity and air pressure outside of your house it looks very much like eve room the battery is here the only difference is eve room has these holes at the top and eve weather doesn't have that on the top and you leave this outside your apartment now let's move to Eve, door and window. This thing tells you if the door is opened or closed, how many times it's been opened or closed, and the duration. Great for paranoia. This is it, you stick this and then you stick this, and then when they are apart from each other, that means the door is open, and then when they're close to each other, that means the door is closed. And we need to stick these on the, on the door. Or to a window, or to someone's legs to see how many times it opens. <laughs> and I'm gonna place the door sensor here. 
See, the light gives you an idea if it works. And finally, EVE Energy. With this, you can see the consumption. You can switch it on or off. And of course, you can see the insights. If my fish was still alive, I would use the room to get information about the temperature in the room. And then use this to turn the heater on and off. Sadly, my fish went to a farm. That's what my wife told me. And this is it. Now that everything is in its place, let's go to our EVE app for Elgato and start setting up our products. Since showing how to set up each product is not necessary, I'm gonna show you only one. Add accessory to home. As you can see, it already sees EVE Energy. And then now it's gonna ask for its setup code. For this, I can scan the code now, give it a name. Let's call it iMac. Now that everything is set up, let's go into our EVE app and see what happens. This is at a glance. As you can see, I see everything right here, including my hue lamps. On the second tab, I have the scenes, timers and rules where I can create what happens when I come home or when I leave. And then rooms. So far, there's only one room and then that's the living room. And I can see the plug. I can turn off the plug. That light should turn off. Yeah. And turn it back on. Turn it off. Turn it on. I can see the consumption. I can see the projected cost, total consumption, and total cost right from that plug. And on the EVE inside, I see that the air quality is excellent. And the temperature is 79.5, and the humidity is 56,000 percent. It's what it feels like to me right now. And you can check your air quality when you tap on like this. Let's move on. And then even outside, you see the temperature, you see the humidity, and then you see the air pressure. As you can see, the door is closed. And then living room lights. See everything. And then th these are hue lights, and we're controlling hue lights inside the Elgato's EVE app. And I think I can turn on and off that hue light. And then we have types. The information comes in the form of types here. When you tap on temperature, you see the inside temperature and then the outside temperature and so on and so forth. And then we have the settings where you can adjust the energy cost and group things together. And then you can give guest access when someone comes over to your house. And if you have another home, which is good for you, you can add a new home, create additional home right here. And you don't have to be at home. You don't have to be connected to your Wi-Fi to control these things. You can be outside, you can be anywhere and then you will see this information. Now that all of this is set up, I can ask Siri this. Siri, what's the temperature in my home? The current temperatures in your home are at 80.2 and 84.1 degrees. So the first one is the temperature inside the house and the second one is the temperature outside. Is the EVE plug turned on? Your EVE plug is on. Is hold the door closed? Your hold the door is closed. Turn the EVE plug off. is off. If my computer was on, this would be really sad right now. <laughs> of course, you can change these names to whatever you want, but it has to be something Siri can understand easily, especially if you have an accent. I don't know how people with accent get anything done, actually. <laughs> now with iOS 10, we have the Home app. As you can see on the first tab that says Home, we see our favorite scenes and underneath that it has my favorite accessories. But right now the Elgato accessories are not supported. But it's still showing there which means it's soon gonna be there. And when I go to the second tab, this is the default room, which is the living room and I cannot change its name at this point for some reason. So it's called the default room. And here you can see all my Elgato accessories and my Philips Hue lights and all of my scenes. 
and at the very last tab there's automation it turns the lights on when i'm coming home and it turns the lights off when i'm leaving the house and it create automation these are the things you can select and in the rooms you can go to for example this and force touch it and hit details and then you can add it to your favorites you can test the scene you can add or remove accessories even though it says the eve plug is not supported when you hit details something magical happens and suddenly it starts working which means with the new update these things will be taken care of but after all this is my favorite this is my favorite of all it also has this well thank you very much for watching this episode and i hope you enjoyed it please hit that subscribe button i must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen hit that subscribe button and join the world domination and please let me know what you think about these products in the comment section below and until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and host Chakala. Yes, yes, I see. I see. A new iPhone. A new iPhone is gonna come out in September. Yeah, all my psychic powers are telling me that every year there is gonna be a new iPhone with slightly better features. Yes, yes, I feel it. Yes, a new iPad, a new uh, I Apple Watch. Every year, it's gonna be renewed. Every year, the one you have from the last year is gonna be the old one. It's gonna be the lame one. Yeah.